This here is the modifier you probably didn't know that you needed as a food and drink photographer. This is an optical snoot. Um, so let's talk about this. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how it works as well, but let me tell you about it first. So it has a lens in here, which you can focus, you can get a nice focused beam of light. Not just focus in like a, a parabolic kind of way, focus as in the actual illumination will draw a crisp circle. We also have a gobo in here. So this is a, gobo means go between, I should add. This goes in between it and you can use it to literally shape the light into whatever obscure pattern you might want to go through there. Now this is great for a few reasons. You can use it for a creative tool where I did with my banana shots where I actually lit them as if it was like a stage light above them and had a crisp focus of light. You can use it to light a very specific part of an image by using the gobo and then focusing that light or defocusing the light if you want it to subtly blend in and that can be a really good creative tool. And you can also use it to cast shadows onto backgrounds by putting a gobo in there which might have some sort of patterns in there. I don't personally like that but you can do that. Now I've got a few different ones of these. This is just the Pixar one, which I've got at the moment, but I own others as well. Now this one here is particularly good because it fits the Bowens S mount. So it's really adaptable to pretty much any flash system. Word of warning though, you need a powerful flash, at least 500 watts. If you're trying to make a minuscule little bit of light come through, when we did the Guinness shot, we used this to light the label we had to use 3,200 watts to achieve F10. So you do need a lot of light. It's very important to do that. Also, this is an all metal construction. You need the modeling light on to be able to focus it and all the rest. When you're done shooting, turn it off, give it 10 minutes before touching it. Otherwise your fingerprints will literally leave your hand and stay on this here. It gets burning hot, so be aware of that. There's also the option to change the lens on the enders to any lens you want. I don't personally feel that upgrading the lens on an optical snoot is really worth it because the, the lines are crisp enough. I don't feel like I need any more crispness as it were. But this is a great modifier if you fancy something new to add to your arsenal of kit, which will offer something a little bit different and give you a bit more creativity than say a softbox or strip box. This is definitely that modifier.